Once upon a time, in ancient Greece, an Athenian messenger named Phaedipides ran over 25 miles from the battlefield of Marathon to Athens, crying, Victory! Victory! Rejoice! We conquer! And then he subsequently collapsed from exhaustion and died. You might know this story, but you might not have heard all of the details before. You see, running long distances was Phaedipides' job, and in the days prior to this, he actually ran over 300 miles from Athens to Sparta and back. And actually, it was a different messenger who brought the good news to Athens. But the more well-known story has a bit of a better ring to it. It's a bit more catchy. And it is that more well-known story that has caused millions of runners to recreate the iconic 26.2 mile run. The number of people participating in endurance events, running, cycling, swimming, triathlon events, is increasing every year as more and more of us are becoming aware of the importance of including regular exercise into our busy yet often sedentary modern lifestyles. They need advice about how they should train for these events, what kind of injury prevention measures they should take. Most runners will seek this advice through online training programs that are one size fits all or generic injury prevention recommendations or they'll use race time estimations that are more suited to experienced runners. It's important that there's a more personalized approach that takes into account runners' specific needs, experience, and abilities. Lately, there has been a huge surge in the number of people wearing fitness sensors such as Fitbits or Garmin's, or using fitness apps such as Strava. When we use these and we go for a run, a cycle, or a swim, a ton of data is collected about how we are training. My research is focused on developing AI techniques and tools that can learn from this training data that is collected by these wearable sensors to build systems that can do useful things for runners, such as calculate your estimated marathon time based on your recent training, determine what your risk of injury is based on your training, automatically tag your run as an interval run or a recovery run, as well as provide insights into what types of training would improve your marathon time. This work will provide better support to the millions of people that are being proactive about their health and fitness and do not yet have access to these types of personalized tools. And it is my hope that having access to these supports will inspire even more people to tackle the iconic marathon.